We're in the running for Black Ambition, so they should be choosing the top 250 companies to move on to the accelerator part um, within the next couple weeks, I would think. Up oh, there. Yeah. Um, so I've been waiting on this, and part of the Black Ambition thing is you had to be in the U.S. So this morning, they finally announced the semi-finalists for the Black Ambition Prize. So this is my first tech event ever. Like this is new uncharted water for me. I don't even know what to expect. I don't even know if I'm even dressed um, appropriately. However, I'm gonna try it. Uh, and try to network, get into the space and see what happens. Just left the Tech Stars event, man. That was super, super dope. Super, super dope to see those founders tell their story, talk about their company. Man, I love Atlanta. submit is to the black ambition prize right here we're gonna wait on this one so i'll make sure this deck is straight it's a new deck right here That's it. Okay, cool. So, ready to submit this one as well. Um, freak it. Let's go. May 1st, 2024, submitted to Techstars Atlanta and Techstars Detroit Accelerator, and also submitted to Black Ambition Prize, also on May 1st, 2024. Please, God, help me get into one of these accelerators. <laughs> we need this so bad, not just the investment, but the mentorship, the uh, resources, the community um everything that comes along with it all righty so let's document this right here so this is a rejection from xrc ventures stating unfortunately this falls out of our investment scope due to concerns regarding the venture scalability and the total addressable market all right so I'm looking at this rejection as it's just another one. Um, honestly, I don't have too much expectation on 
any of these things uh, for the most part. If I got into any of these accelerators, I would be super grateful, but um, I understand how competitive it, I understand how competitive it is. And um, also I know, understand how political it is as well. So uh, I don't have any expectations. If I get into one, great, then I'm going ballistic. But this is just another one. They probably don't fit with what I'm trying to do anyway. So whatever. <clears throat> All right, so today, Today is June 26, 2024, and I'm here in Buffalo. I've been here since the end of April. Um, the plan for the business was to apply to some of these accelerators, um, tech stars. So it's a bunch of these things that, a bunch of these accelerators that um, are for like black founders. Um, here's a list of the accelerators that I've um, applied to. So. Antler, Black Ambition, Tech Stars, BKXL, Startup Chili, um, Generator, A16Z, TXO, um, XRC Ventures. I did not apply the 43 North Worldwide Combinator or 500 Global. But the main accelerators that I thought would be perfect for me and for my company was um, BKXL, definitely Black Ambition, uh, Techstars, and A16Z, TXO. And those are like geared towards founders, like Black founders. And um, I've been here, you know, in the States, and I, it's not been a good time, honestly. But I really thought I had like a real shot, a real chance of getting into one of these accelerators from all of the work from my, you know, just when you look at the body of work of everything and also the business, um, when you talk about startups, nothing is a home run, like nothing is a home run. So it's a mashup of things that go into when people like invest into a startup. And part of it, a huge part of it is the story. A huge part of it is the founder. Part of it is the idea. Um, but today, like, just really, really received, like, a, a real... I don't know if it's bad news, but just like I just don't know if this is I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull it off or have even the opportunity to pull it off through all, everything that has gone on up until this point and today this morning like I was like really 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 excited about black ambition prize um Partly because I watched so many Black Ambition Prize like videos and their videos was not as good as mine's. And when I, I um, went to like like this uh, this application meeting 
and the one the one person that was running the application meeting she was a judge and she was saying like how vital the application video is and i knew my application video was going to be up there um so i've been waiting on this and part of the black ambition thing is you had to be in the u.s so like i hunker down in the u.s because i i do my company is a u.s company so like I, i've hunkered down i've been sleeping here on this couch and just honestly just been freaking miserable for the last two months so you know about two months just been like completely miserable um living off of a credit card tr you know trying to build this business because everything that i've put into my business is into the business um and this morning they finally announced the semi-finalists for the black ambition prize and this is the news right here so dear hassan sadiq thank you for applying for to the 2024 black ambition prize while we received many impressive applications we regret to inform you that your business did not qualify as a semi-finalist and will not be considered for funding consideration moving forward in the prize competition selection process um man you know like i want to see the list of 250 companies that are better than mine that's what I want to see. I want to like I want to see the list and I'm going to go through the list of 250 companies that are better than mine. Same thing for Techstars like like I went all the way down to Atlanta last week to just have a you know have an introduction to the person that I was, you know, that I was meeting with that I've been emailing with. Um don't look it doesn't look like I'm I'm getting into Techstars either. Um, BKXL already said that they didn't pick they didn't pick my startup either. That was um, last month. Um, and the other countless no's that I've continued to receive. The funny thing about all of this is everybody watches sports, right? Everybody watches sports. Everybody watches the NBA, the NFL. Major League Baseball. Everybody talks about the the big money, the contracts. Now you have all of these kids that are vying to go to college, to to get NIL money, to become a pro athlete. And nobody cares about the stories of these athletes. The real stories of these athletes. Like I just seen something like a clip. I didn't watch the video, but it's like John Wall talking about, you know, after he's had a long NBA career, he still says, I have something left in the tank. I want to put on an NBA jersey. This is somebody that's got tons of money, but he's still having a fight of still wanting to play in the NBA. Because people don't understand how that is. When it's over, it's over. The guys from the NBA that Big Baby Davis, a really good NBA career, going to prison for the health care things. Do you only care about athletes when you watch them on TV and during, and during the game? Because out of the... 450 athletes that make it to the NBA, it's millions others that don't, and they have to deal with that. And what's their story? You can't tell me that All Dreams does not deserve to be a company. You can't tell me that All Dreams won't make money by having a dedicated platform to athletes. 
is such a huge thing. It's such a huge thing that SMU moved to the ACC and they raised $158 million on delayed gratification. I think nine years delayed gratification. You can't tell me that all dreams will not make money as being a platform for athletes to tell their story, build a community, and earn money through donations, subscriptions. Like, this is... It's all fake. All of it. It's all fake. Because it's all about who you know. It's all about... Um, it's not about the stories. It's all fake, man. And note, this day, June 26, is the first the first day in over over a year that I've had all three of my daughters in one, under one roof. This is so frustrating and. I just want to go back to Columbia. Fuck the states, man. Fuck all this, this, this fake. Hey, we, you know, we're looking for black companies, and maybe, maybe I don't get in any of these things because they Google my name and shit comes up or whatever from nine years ago from shit that I did not do. Um, but no one asked my story. You know, no one asked, no one asked my story. I come to this conclusion. I come to this point where I suppress my, my love for basketball 20 years because it was just so, so hard for me to not face that I did not reach my full potential playing basketball because of lack of support. Not because I'm not, wasn't fucking good enough. And I guarantee most of this shit is because people will just Google my name and see what happened in 2015 with my mother. Um, I kind of guarantee it. What's up, kid? So that's all I have for right now.